Harpy Eagle, old Sabertooth ability, except it's trigger limited, onto a new pet. Simple enough. We're going to check it out, see if the trigger limits actually affect it that much. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Let's find out. <laughs> Without further ado, let's jump right in. Got a new weekly pack, y'all. Let's see just what we have in store. So I did a quick little peruse here. Um, we got some axolotl plays. Loveland Frogman um, exists in the pack, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> so don't hold your breath on that one. Let's be some hopeful fangirls. Yeah, I don't know. They do this so often, and I, I genuinely don't know why, that like you put in Frogman with no jump synergies, unless I'm like blind. <laughs> There's literally nothing. What's the point, you know? Like what? Genuinely asking, what is the point? I don't know. Seems like a waste. Okay, that's looking fine here. Oh, that's significantly less fine. <laughs> We're gonna take a couple losses here. Hopefully we get a level up. So far, not quite. Ooh, okay. Frog me a level two balloon. I mean mole is mole is something. It exists, without a doubt. Um, but probably not. Not really what we're going for here. Okay, well that is fantastic. We're finally not losing. That's that's wonderful news. Give me a level. We get the ox opportunity here. What if we run it like this? So you don't summon anymore. I think we run it here. Maybe something like this. It seems like the early game is just kind of sitting here waiting, largely. We don't really have anything that we're trying to do. Except for getting Fig, because Fig is OP. You're always trying to get Fig. I mean, why not do this, right? Fig is really good on guys like the Ox and the Beetle. Because you use it and then you still get to overwrite. Oh no, <laughs> I'm sorry. He found a sloth and we're killing him. I wish I couldn't. I wish there was some way around it. I do. Roman. Hold you for next turn. I don't think I like any of these that much. Like I said, Fig is good on the beetle. Let's try it. Is it like the most exciting thing ever? Not really. Oh. Wait. Am I crazy? I thought Fig used to do that. Okay. Um, never mind, I guess. So Fig doesn't work on the beetle anymore? Weird. I'm like pretty confident there's a, a setup with start of battle abilities where Fig does work. So now I'm a little... We're gonna have to look into that one a little bit. Um, we'll do Ox next turn level. Do we have any tier fours? No, we do not. Probably don't need cotton candy. I think that's what that would mean. Yeah, Fig don't do a darn thing anymore. I say anymore, I'm pretty sure it did at one point, but I guess I can't say for sure. You know, very well could have not. Level me here. Poodle. Two, okay. We do this, we do this. Let's just grab some cotton candy. I think we might as well do it like this, have the kangaroo on you now. Seems like our beetle isn't really getting the stats that I was hoping it would. Okay. I think we're good. Our ordering sucked, that's why we draw instead of win, but <laughs> I think it's okay. Alright, roll me. 
something good. That's not bad. Tell you what, so these two are very well set up for an axolotl. I don't really want to break that. Lynx is a decent snipe, but I kind of want to run a harpy eagle because it pairs well with the poodle. But what if we get rid of you after all? I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, like we just put a bunch of stuff into it, but that's just how it goes sometimes, you know? Just how it be. <laughs> I don't like being on one heart, I'll tell you that much. Not preferred. I don't think we care about the beetle. There's another poodle. Okay, I think we get rid of kangaroo here. I think this, this setup here works too well with Axolotl to not run it. And I think this is the setup. Don't want him in the back in case he gets... Well, I guess they don't have Crocodile now, do they? Whatever. <laughs> it's just one of those, like, you're never gonna get the Axolotl to work. It just doesn't happen. Try as you might. It just was is not meant to be. Level you. We're saving this little turkey leg, chicken leg, for the for the axolotl. In hopes that maybe he'll survive. Okay, that actually kinda worked well for us. Beautiful. I don't know how that worked, but it did. And we'll take it. Let's get you cooked. Roll me another axolotl. Not bad, not bad. Um, we don't care about the beetle. I think this is solid. Axolotl's actually kind of strong now. Things that nobody has ever said ever. <laughs> we need a summon in front of the, the homie. That's what we need. In front of our ox. We could put Yggdrasil on somebody, maybe? Probably not. Let's put it on the Axolotl because we can level up into a Harpy Eagle potentially. We did not. That's unfortunate. That's fine. Okay. So yeah, at this point, yeah, the Ox is only going to get to trigger once, but that's kind of just how it is, I think. But like, the team is looking pretty solid. Not too shabby. We got good scaling. And then this guy's just summoning out the wazoo. This is the old... what's his name? Why can I not remember his name right now? I feel like I'm going insane. I think we stack it on you. And... I guess we could put it on the Harpy Eagle. Maybe that would be the smarter play, but... <laughs> and I just really hate when the Axolotl gets sniped. I'm gonna do whatever I need to do to make that not happen. And we draw? We win! Wow, okay. I think activating Hurt on Faint is the greatest thing that's ever happened to this game. Not exaggerating. Hmm. At this point, Garlic might actually be good. I mean, we can level him, but it's not gonna do anything. Not gonna make us any stronger. Oh, that's a pretty formidable f team they got here. Eh, kinda. Just kidding. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> it, we almost lost, I guess. It was close. I thought it was like, we're gonna lose, but it was more like, hey, watch out. You know, watch out. Don't die. And I'm like, okay, thanks. Plus three, plus three to everybody. Mmm, 
that's not gonna end well. Harpy Eagle's the way to do it, apparently. The only thing that can beat a Harpy Eagle is a bigger Harpy Eagle. <laughs> Real talk though, I think Axolotl was kind of a waste on that team a little bit. It gave plus four, plus four. It was basically a penguin that didn't work sometimes. Um, and the Poodle was the only one doing anything. But that's not to say Axolotl can't work. It just, I don't think it was the right play there. Alchemedes, <laughs> it doesn't feel great. Uh, we could go Groundhog maybe. I don't know, is Groundhog, Groundhog's probably better than another Alchemedes that doesn't do anything, I would imagine. I have trouble feeling like Alchemedes really does much, but I seem to always be wrong with it. I, I feel like Alchemedes is actually really good. So, I don't know, we're gonna... Okay, uh, we're gonna we're, we're gonna see what we can do here. Freeze you, freeze you. Normally I wouldn't freeze a groundhog, but we could potentially get a level and, you know, the possibility is there. Let's try it. Um, do we? We do draw, okay. There was a lot of attacks going on there. Give me a level. Deer Lord. We could try the Deer Lord. This is the thing though, Deer Lord doesn't really do a whole lot here. Like early on, there aren't a whole lot of synergies. Maybe we ditch the Groundhog idea. Throw in a Kangaroo. And honestly, just throw in another Alchemedes. Try to get a, uh, try to get a third one. Only. Nothing. Nothing. You hate to see that. Okay. We get a couple hits here. Yeah, we should be totally fine. Big Alchemedes. Maybe that's the early game strat. Maybe that's how you gotta play it. Um, let's go Beaver. Zell's just not it, in my opinion. Here's the Alchemedes. Are we going for... I feel like we gotta wait till next turn, right? We're doing pretty okay for ourselves. Let's try it. Ooh, look at that. We're getting some trade value. Oh, baby. Oh, he's getting a lot of kangaroo hits, though. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we got him. Yeah, man, that level 2 kangaroo with guaranteed 3 triggers minimum. That's solid. There's an elk. We have a beaver. Enough said. Run it here. Oh, man. So we're trying to find more beavers now. All of a sudden we actually want beavers. Get some caramels going here. That's fine. We... Oh dude, garlic is too good. Where's all our garlic hiding? I always forget, you gotta put elk up front. That is step number one to making this work. Roll me. Grab you. Roll me. Man, we're getting nothing out here. What the heck is that? Just a whole bunch of nothing. Okay. Okay, okay. Lynx? You know what? Okay. This ain't happening. Let's go here. Straight up. <laughs> More stacked lynxes now. As unconventional as it may seem, this is the play. I'm tempted to go like a rootling hippocampus kind of vibe here. And do like a double links. That would actually go pretty hard. Let's try it. What's the harm in trying, you know? Aside from like losing. But we don't we don't worry about that. <laughs> we don't we don't concern ourselves with that. Those are some very convenient hits. 
guy. Just take out our two best units. Perfect lethal. Whatever. Here. Let's combine. Poodle seems great. We have too many fours though, so we gotta split them up a little bit. Um, so we'll get rid of the rootling. I'm not loving any of these. Maybe a hair? If we get a big hair going, that could be decent. I don't know how the heck we managed to win that one. That <laughs> We had no business winning that one. Okay, get rid of you. Grab me a hair. Roll me. Roll me. Double chocolate, huh? We do this. Grab you two. You, you're gone. And the hair probably has to go too, right? What if we keep... Keeping the hippocampus just seems like a bad idea. We're getting three attack when we otherwise could get an additional 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, I don't think I like that very much. Baby, we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it. Alright, get rid of you. Get rid of you. This is the final team. Alright. Will it work? Not sure. But we're about to find out. I'm considering chocolate cake here just to get another chick. But what if we just roll and try to get something like good? Garlic, maybe. Yeah, so we're getting 8-8 eight, eight per turn. That's not bad. Um, what the heck is going on here? This guy achievement hunting or something? <laughs> Whatever it is, we'll take it. But don't feel like we earned that one too, too well, did we? RP Eagle gets a buff. Romy. We're really just looking for levels at this point. That's good. We get rid of the Alchemedes, we could pretzel. Four, five, six. Nah, let's just, we'll keep a chicken leg. Help out some scaling on our Harpy Eagle, maybe. Or is it better just to put it on the turkey at this point? I'm not sure. Oh, he's running the moose. This guy's running the moose. And we're good. The moose is so good. I love it. Here. What if we just don't, you know? What if we just strictly go for level ups here? Who's better? Rooster or Harpy Eagle? Gotta be Rooster, right? More consistent that way. And you get the level up into a tier 6, more likely to be Harpy Eagle than a Rooster. <laughs> you can't say all me I'm wrong. Because I'm not. Okay. Um, Alright. I don't think we're gonna get through this guy. No, not quite. I think Moose Hippocampus is definitely the way to do it this this week. Maybe we set it up like this. Not too bad. Our Harpy Eagle was just barely big enough to take him on. That was a little dicey, I'll admit, but we take those. Roll me. Another Lynx. Huge. I mean, I'd love to run Lioness. It's just too late right now. Next up, Rooster level. Is the Poodle strong enough to get us there? I'm not sure. I think in all likelihood it's gonna be the Phoenix that's or the the the, the what's his name? It's gonna be the Lynx that gets us there. If anything. Come on. 
did not find it. We'll give them an eggplant in case they're running, I don't know, something, <laughs> something in battle that we can screw up. Like a phoenix? Hold on. I thought it moves to the front. Oh, one space forward. Did they change that? Feels like they changed it. We get a draw. That's fine. Honestly, we that's fine. There's the level. Um, honestly, so chocolate is too far from anything important. Let's just try to find some, yeah, some stuff to give them. Extra snipes on the lynx, a little extra love on the harpy eagle. Sounds great. We're just gonna go against a team of 50-50s here. <laughs> we did not, that's good. Dude, this harpy eagle though. <laughs> this guy is so good. It's incredibly strong. It's like not a very exciting scaling, but like it just goes to show how effective some of these guys are. I thought we already won with the rooster achievement. I wonder if the achievement gets kicked back when it gets changed, even though it's just a, you know, it's the same rooster, it's a different tier. I don't know, is that a thing? Not sure. Either way, very fun scaling build. Thank you.